Welcome back. Well, you know, Ruben is always on the road. And yes. I'm just going to go ahead and call him out right now because Let's he always goes to food places and he never brings any back for us. He just comes back and tells us how good the place is, which mm -hmm. I mean, obviously makes me want to go there and try it, but some leftovers would be nice. I know. Yeah. Share, Ruben. You got to yes. share. Yes. And <laughs> this time, though, not going to a restaurant, right. so we don't it's have not. to guilt him too much mm -hmm. about not bringing us food, but he's going to a nonprofit learning about how they're helping Hutchinson County residents with career development and educational assistance. High Plains Helping Hand started off as a food bank and utility assistance in 1984. Um, in about 2015-2016-ish, um, we uh, well, the board then decided that um, we had too many food banks, too many utility assistants, but not enough um, assistants out there that were helping these people not need those programs anymore. So we then decided to change our mission to um, help with career development and educational assistance. I've been the executive director for a year, and I was on the board for two years prior to that. And we just grow every year with how many people are helping. I think the response um, was, uh, you know, very welcoming. I mean, we're still here. We've been going since, you know, 2015 or so. So um, it's just, it's been, we're embraced by the whole community, I believe. We would love to expand. Um, we get um, calls from people from Panhandle, Pampa, um, even Amarillo sometimes, and of course we can't help them because they're not within our area, but um, we would love to branch out to put more of us out there. It's just finding the funding to do so. It is Hutchinson County, um, only the citizens within Hutchinson County, so Stanette, Fritch, um, Border, of course. Um, we help, we have a good partnership with um, Border High School. Um, you know, they do a great cohort program, so we help with um, books for those kids, um, you know, when their funding runs out, we kind of help with that. Um, any tuition that might f um, come at the end that um, their funding ran out of. And then we help a lot with Frank Phillips College um, students with um, anywhere from just general education to nursing to welding. Um, anything that they offer, we help with. Um, we also, offer um, classes if somebody's wanting to go to WT but they live here and um, they're doing online classes, I'll most definitely help them out too. So if they're doing, if they're here, then we can help them.